Hey guys, this is Tim Hurlbut with Ambiguous Adventures, and today we're gonna to talk about one thing and one thing only, and that's what you should do for 2022 if you're starting Airbnb this year, or maybe you've been doing it before, but this is the number one thing that I did. It's like one of those if I wish I could have told myself, but I didn't have to because I had a girlfriend that told me at the time, and because of that, it's really allowed us the opportunity to grow. So that number one thing is simply this. We bought that first home in Oregon because we wanted something that was gonna give us a place to get away. As we got going, after our first 30 days, we realized, wow, like this is crazy. Like people are booking so much. We looked at the end of the month and we had made like $4,000 net profit after paying the mortgage and after paying all the bills. And I was like, oh man, this is awesome. All right, let's go. Let's, let's book a trip. And <laughs> I still laugh at myself because when I said let's book a trip, I was totally serious. I'm like, yeah, let's go to Hawaii, let's go to wherever. Let's just go take somewhere, you know, this is like free money, right? So let's go do something with it. And I'll never forget that look that Lynn gave me <laughs> when I made that comment. She was like, Tim, we're not gonna spend one penny of this profit for the next 12 months at least. And I'm like, what? Why, why do you say that? She's like, because we're not. This is money that we didn't plan on making. Plus, we never know what's gonna happen on the property. Maybe we'll need to do this. We'll need to make some improvements. Like, this is still very unknown territory for us. And I remember being like, you know, like low-key irritated. I'm like, dude, why are you being so serious about this? I don't know, after a week or so, I was like, okay, okay, this is the plan, this is the plan. I realized, looking back on that, then like, it was like a moment, and that moment passed, and I forgot all about it, but, you know, people come to me all the time, like, Tim, what's the number one thing we should do? What's the most important thing? And that is by far and away, like not even close to the first thing and the only thing that I would focus on if I was brand new to start an Airbnb. And I say that because you probably survived however you got to this point to be able to put yourself in a position where you can start Airbnb. And it is an easy temptation where it's like, you really didn't do anything different other than, yeah, you figured out how to make sure that you got your place clean, you made sure you got photos or whatever you did. Really running an Airbnb is not that difficult once you kind of get that system down. And I understand getting that system down is a huge part of like infrastructure logistics that has to get in place. But because of the fact that we did that for a year and we saved all that profit, it's what allowed us to have the confidence and the ability to buy our second property right away like not even at the end of year one, allowed us to buy four properties and have four properties in the first three, three and a half years, and allowed us to have the capital to be able to make this huge investment in Idaho and in this tiny home park that is really, honestly, none of it is being used or our personal funds that are coming from our nine to five job. If you wanna grow and if you, it's really not just the growth piece of it, it's really just the mindset that I realized looking back now that was so important Sometimes I give Lynn a lot of crap. I call her dream killer, I call her this, I call her that because a lot of things, I'm super immature, I'm super childlike. That's why I wanted to buy an earth roamer instead of this tiny home hotel. You know, if I'm a kid and I see it and it's awesome, I just want it. But if you can find a way to do that, not spend any profit, if you're gonna reinvest it in the property, that's okay. But just the mindset of saying, hey, I'm not gonna take one penny out of this for, for traveling, for a weekend trip, for a vacation, because it's kind of that whole thing, like once you start, and once you take 100 here, or 500 there, or 1,000 there, it just starts this trend where it's a lot harder to, I think, kind of revert back to it, where it's just this kind of secret savings plan. It's like a 401k, right? When money comes out of your 401k, you don't really think about it. You don't even think about, oh, it just went in my 401k, I wish I could get 500 of it back, right? You just find a way to make it work. And I think that's the same way. And if you're starting an Airbnb for this year, uh, or you've been running for a little while, and you know, you're just looking to get to that next level, I really believe a huge part of that next level is obviously having that available liquidity uh, and being able to show profit, being able to be able to say, hey, this is what we had for revenue. I can tell you that qualifying for loans, and especially this commercial loan that we got, a big part of that was being able to show not just the revenue that we made, but the revenue that we had saved that gave us you know, a comfort factor for the banks because when you're trying to get a commercial loan, that's a very tough loan to qualify for if you haven't had one before. But because we had three years of tax returns, because we'd punched that income through, because we hadn't spent that money, it's what's allowed us to grow at such a rapid scale. And even if it's not about scaling, or maybe you want to do two or three or four or five, if it's just about being able to, you know, better your life, it really is like a, a separate, you know, 401k or separate investment that I think, you know, can parlay into 
a lot of different things. I have a friend of mine that runs a couple different Airbnbs and he's actually used his profit, invested it in NFTs and crypto and done very well and been able to parlay that into other avenues like that. So just know this was a quick to the point, not a bunch of fancy B-roll, exciting stuff going on, just straight me to you what I'd do if it were me, if I was starting an Airbnb for 2022. Look to see you guys on the rest of our series and getting back to building and getting back to doing what we do, but just wanted to share that because I do think it's uh, important information that's helped us immensely. So thank you, Lynn, for that, even though I get irritated. <laughs> if you like our channel, subscribe here, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.